hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason newland this is relax and sleep hypnosis daily please only listen when you can safely close your eyes so i'd like you to get yourself into a comfortable position either sitting in a comfortable supportive chair or lying down on your bed or some other comfortable flat surface like a sofa remember that you can change how you feel anytime change the way that you're lying change the way that you're sitting You're not a statue when you're doing this. There's no rewards for discomfort. It's really important to remember that your comfort, your physical and your emotional comfort is the priority. Nothing else. There may be background sounds, um, even my side or your side. But that's okay as well because we don't need complete silence. Because what we're going to be doing is going inwards. Focusing on yourself. Focusing on how you feel. At the same time as focusing on my words and the words that I say to you. Which means there'll be enough information for you to focus on so that your mind automatically blocks out other stuff, such as background sounds, uh, temperature of the room that you may not have really taken much notice of until I mentioned it. In fact, I wasn't until I mentioned it, and now I can feel the air on my arms, on my face. The difference in temperature between the part of my t-shirt that's covering my shoulders and my body and the part which, you know, is uncovered. I can feel my stomach rumbling a little bit because it's getting close, closer to uh, dinner time. Yeah, I can just notice the odd sound. I don't even know where it's coming from. It's just a, a slight buzzing. And I think that just comes from electrical things. Sometimes it just seems like the the house has its own sound. And those things we're noticing now as we're focusing on them. Because we haven't started to focus on your body. We haven't started to focus on how you feel emotionally. We haven't started to focus on your stress levels. We haven't started to focus on how busy your mind is right now so maybe that would be a good place to start after all you may be listening to this recording with the intention of relaxing deeply and then falling asleep And many people over the years have told me that the main 
obstacle to drifting off to sleep can be the mind. Some people call it mind chatter. Some people call it an overactive mind. Some people call it those bloody thoughts. Lots of different versions of what they're called. Now I think it's important to first remember that what some of us may call an overactive mind means that you've got a good mind because you're thinking and being able to think is actually a blessing so I think it's fairly useful to not to not be too negative towards the thoughts even though they may not be the thoughts you want and they may not be appropriate and they may just be at the wrong time you don't want them at the moment because when you've fallen asleep you just want to be left alone and when you want to relax again you just you don't need the intrusion of thinking necessarily although thinking can really help to relax deeply and to drift off to sleep because let's face it what happens when you start dreaming your brain is working you're thinking about things it's unconscious but you're still your mind is working you're dreaming so to fall asleep you don't need your mind to be switched off not really because when you're asleep your mind is very much switched on so it's almost crossing that bridge between being awake and falling asleep two parts where you're both very very active in your mind before when you decide to relax you've got activity in your brain your mind is working and then when you're actually asleep you're dreaming so your mind is working so that bridge that you cross over and I think of it I like to think of it more of a slide rather than a bridge because a bridge is something that you walk over or travel over, usually in a straight line. But with a slide, once you're at the top of the slide and you just let yourself go, you don't have to do anything. Then you just slide all the way down. So I like the idea, that analogy, as you're traveling up the slide up the ladder to get to the top of the slide and during that process it's almost like you've got a backpack full of thoughts and it's really heavy and you're really really struggling to take each step up that long ladder to the top and you've got pockets and pockets of full of thoughts. Your clothes are basically made of thoughts. Everything is just really dragging you down and making every step really hard to do because of all those thoughts and uh, the weight of them. So in that situation, there seems only one logical thing to do. Because this slide, it's not just a slide that leads to sleep. It's a slide that leads to relaxation. 
because really you've got that bridge that leads from being awake to being asleep. 99% of that bridge is just relaxation. In fact, it might even be 99.9%. It's just relaxing in that last step leads to sleep. That last inch is where sleep is. It's an almost instant automatic movement that takes no energy or focus or even comprehension for it to manifest because it just happens easily and naturally when you get to that point. So going back to that ladder that you're climbing up and you're bogged down by all these thoughts and maybe not one of them in itself really weighs much but there's so many of them so many of them and you keep trying to climb up this ladder and then it dawns on you it dawns on you that Actually, it would be easier to climb up the ladder if you didn't have this excess weight. And then you have to think to yourself, well, why have I been carrying all of these thoughts with me? as I've been trying to climb up this long ladder to get to the top of the slide. And maybe part of the reason is because we tend to have a value for thoughts. And maybe the reason for that is because of what I said earlier that being able to think is such an amazing thing it's a gift to be able to have thoughts to have clarity to be able to work things out to think logically to be able to plan to be able to problem solve all these things our mind helps us with and our mind is something that we've cultivated from the day we were born with education with our educating ourselves with the books we've read with the activities we've been involved in conversations everything is contributed towards our mind and the thoughts that we have so there is a great value to them. However, thoughts aren't like a fragile piece of china, like a dish or a cup that can be broken and it's gone forever. Thoughts can be dropped, they can be burnt, they can be destroyed in every single way. And they still can come back. They, you know, if you want them to. It's always available when you want them. But you don't need them all the time. That's why we had that's why we have hard drives for computers. That's why we have places like the cloud, you know, for people in computers. We have places to store things. That's why we take pictures so we don't have to remember every single uh, image that we experience. 
but we do have the capacity to get back that image in our mind. But we don't need it all the time. Which is why we have things like cloud storage and backup, you know, for computers and places to store stuff. So we don't need it all the time. It's like a search engine with all the information you can gain and get to at your fingertips on a phone or a computer. If we carried all that information around with us, we would need hundreds and hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of lorries full of paper. But yeah, millions of lorries following us all along wherever we went. But we don't. We just have the phone. We have an easier way of doing it. So this is an easy way of doing it. This is an easy way of letting go of those thoughts that are currently in your head by just letting your backpack fall to the ground. Let your backpack full of thoughts fall to the ground. Because you don't need them now. And no matter how far away they are, or what happens to those thoughts right now, all thoughts are available to you if you want them. All positive thoughts. The negative thoughts can be destroyed. But any positive thought, any useful thought, something that's beneficial to you, will always be available whenever you want it, whenever you need it. But right now isn't the time to need it or want it. Because thinking and thoughts are not relevant in this moment. You can just drop them to the floor. You can empty your pockets. Let those thoughts drop to the floor. In fact, you can just allow your clothes to just fall off your body. Drop into the floor so that you're completely clear of any of those thoughts. And just notice how much lighter you feel in your body and especially in your mind how much lighter you feel that peacefulness that automatically arises as you continue Climbing up that ladder, noticing how easy it is. And as you climb, notice how much more relaxed you feel with each step that you climb. There's 20 steps left. And I'm going to count down the number of steps left to climb up. 20 down to 1. As you climb up to the top of that ladder. Ready to descend down the slide. In 
into even deeper relaxation. And each step you take up that ladder, you can become ten times, ten times more relaxed. Not just in your mind, but also in your body. Ten times more relaxed with each number you hear me say. Now. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen.
Seven.
top of the ladder, sitting down at the top of the slide. to just let go and slide all the way down just let go 